We are on our way north through the Flagstaff area on our way to Page, Arizona and some of Arizona's most beautiful natural wonders. But before we get there, click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. We are going to enjoy Arizona's winter at its finest. everybody tonight we are heading out the horseshoe bed actually we're gonna start in Antelope Canyon unfortunately the management there made some changes and there are no longer going to have any photography tours as a matter of fact you can't even bring a tripod or a backpack or even a GoPro with you my family had a great time there though the downside was that you were constantly pushed to keep moving that's because there was just group after group after group going inside the canyon that made it really difficult for photography. The dynamic range of light was insane inside the canyon. And without a tripod, I had very little chance to compose and properly expose a single image. The upside was our tour guide. We went with Dixie Ellis Lower Antelope Canyon Tours. Our tour guide, Jaron, did a really good job at pointing out the interesting compositions, expertly working our camera phones, and making sure that all of us had several family pictures. Trust me, we tipped him well. I just wish that they still had their photography tours so I could have more than just snapshots that I would have time to take real images. Now fortunately I was able to get a lot of these images accepted in the stock photography market so fingers crossed that they're going to pay off. Now this isn't just the only amazing jaw-dropping Arizona natural wonder that we're visiting today. Check this place out. Hey everybody, so tonight we're here at Horseshoe Bend, but unfortunately the light is not going to happen. There is not a cloud in the sky for us to get a dramatic image off of. So tonight I'm shooting in bracket mode so we can at least try and get something. Right now the canyon is completely in shadow and we have a really bright sky. Now this is also a family night. My mom, my brother and his family are all visiting from Indiana. So since we don't really have any clouds tonight, something that I'm trying out to maybe make this image a little more spectacular is I've shut my aperture as far tight as it can go to try and get a starburst effect in these panos. Now how that's going to work with the pano, again we'll have to wait and see until I get home, but at least we have a nice evening to enjoy uh, Horseshoe Bend. I don't know about all of you, but I think it turned out pretty cool. Alright guys, well the light definitely is not happening so I'm not going to stay out here too much later because there's nothing in the sky to reflect any color after the sun has dropped below the horizon. So what I was doing there in the end before the sun hit the horizon was using my long lens to try and capture some micro landscapes. So out in the distance is a very rocky, small mountain, very rocky mountain that has lots of snow on it. I was able to get that along with the setting sun right when the sun was on the horizon. So hopefully I got a few images I'm going to be able to put out on the stock photography market. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I guess I'll have to come back out here to Ho Horseshoe Bend again sometime and see if I can get it when there's some clouds in the sky. So guys, just a few tips before you come out here to Horseshoe Bend. So I did not know that we'd have to pay to park. As a matter of fact, on Google Earth, if uh, at least the day of this recording, you will not see the infrastructure that has been built here rather quickly. So the parking lot is on tribal land. So rightfully so, they have the right to charge you to park. So that's now something you have to do when you come out here to Horseshoe Bend. Also, I was hoping to fly my drone 
right at the parking lot to kind of follow me as I come in here. This area I'm standing in is wilderness, so you do not put up a drone here. So I was going to bring the drone down before we hit the wilderness area, but there's signage up now that says no drones. So don't bring your drone, period, because you can't fly it anywhere around here. Also be aware there's a lot of people, so have patience when you come out here. And uh, with patience pays off because uh, other photographers are pretty much telling me I picked the best spot to set up the camera tonight because they actually had time to wander around where I didn't so based on the research I've done of where the Sun's gonna set and uh, where the railings are at I put down my tripod and stayed there for the whole sunset and uh, yeah I think we did get the best spot we were able to capture in a pano the Sun setting and still get the uh, two bends here in the horseshoe uh, so yeah, those are the tips I have here for uh, Horseshoe Bend. You know, oh, one more thing. If you look behind me, that's about the halfway point up there on that hill. So if you do come out here, it is a commitment, so make sure you bring some water. Thank you for watching. Please remember to click the subscribe button and follow along as I pass out my travel and photography tips. In the next episode, we're going to do a sunrise photo shoot on Lake Powell.